Hey, this is a quick tip to show you how you can add an audio file to an MP4 file without having to re-encode that file. Um, to do this, we're going to use AVI Demux. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but basically it's a demultiplexer, so you can sort of split um, bits and pieces out of a video file. So if we go to the download section, I'm scrolling down to Windows, and I'm picking the 64-bit version here and clicking on the FossHub link. That then gives me the download. I'm just, I've already installed that, so I've gone to install it, it's quite straightforward, and that's given me this um, shortcut here, so if I double click to open, I'm going to add uh, an audio, a uh, video file, sorry, which is this MP4, which is some game footage I, I recorded, and now I'm going to add the audio track, so I click on the audio section here, select the track I want, I'm going to enable this extra track, I'm going to click this little drop down menu, and click add audio track. Now I've got an audio track from another game, which is um, Lotus Turbo Challenge on the Amiga. So I've just added that track there, I can OK that. Before I click OK, you can see that actually the original video has an AAC audio track, and this is an MP3 audio track. Now in most cases this shouldn't cause a problem because both are very well supported audio formats, but obviously this all depends on the end device that's going to be playing back the video. So. You, you might have to experiment, you may have to convert the MP3 to AAC before you can do that, but it shouldn't be a problem. So anyway, okay that, click File, click Save. Oh, wait a minute, before I do that, let's change the output format to MP4 MUXA, and then we can go File and Save, and let's, well, it's already added Edit to the end there, which is quite handy, and you can see it's already MP4, so if I click Save, and it's done, so that was quick no encoding taken place so if I open up this audio I'll stop talking for a minute so you can hear the difference but the first um, audio track will be the original game and the second will be the um, audio recording for another game which is that one there so if I open it up and now I can switch There you go, that's it really, um, it works pretty well. Um, I've had issues with some um, files that might have had variable frame rates, so obviously your mileage may vary, just um, experiment if you have any problems. But this is free software and it works really well, so um, definitely worth giving it a go. Hopefully this tip has been useful to you, if it has, please give me a thumbs up, because that helps my channel get more attention and uh, encourages me to do more videos and if you'd like to write me a comment please do that because that also encourages me to do more videos or you could subscribe which also helps the channel thank you very much for watching cheers